Shalom family. So again, I want to encourage you in these final battle moments on this battleground before we leave. The enemy is out <clears throat> with a vengeance to attack all of those who are awake, whose lamps are lit and shining brightly, who are empowered by the Holy Spirit and trying their best to make as much of a difference as they can in the time that's left. And no, that does not mean, I believe, in a works salvation. And these kind of attacks come from inside the church. You know, sit back, relax, chill, once saved, always saved, you're sorted, you do nothing, you can actually just go live your life as you used to live your life. Instead of, I am yearning to become more like Christ, I am desiring to walk like the water walker, I want to be more of him, less of me, I want to fill up with his light and shine it into the darkness, I want to rescue as many starfish as I can lay my hands on in the time that I have left. We want to be about our father's business until he picks us up. And so we need to make sure the enemy understands that too when he attacks. And he attacks us in any way and, and he's been at it. He is not slack in his mandate. But he must know that our mindset and our heart belongs to the Lord Most High. And we will keep standing up. And we will keep forging ahead and supporting each other non-stop. We have no quit in us until we're done. We push forward non-stop. And the enemy needs to understand that. So a silly example yesterday is yesterday now with all these other issues too. And the USBs on the laptop not working and so on. I still forced this laptop to help me edit a video and put it up. And sure as anything, no audio. Thank you to those of you who pointed that out to me. No audio at all. Fine. I'm not going to let that get to me. Just one more little hurdle. Delete it, remove it from YouTube, remake it. And guess what, enemy? Now I'm bolting on an extra piece as well. Now that one small piece has become a bigger piece. Every time you nudge me, I will nudge back with even more of God, even more of the word, even more teaching, even more light until your sunglasses will be see-through. And that's what the enemy needs to understand. The enemy is always trying to like, be like something because he can't do it for himself. Isaiah 59, 19, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Holy Spirit will raise up a standard against him. 1 Peter 5, verse 8, your enemy, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He is not a lion. He is not a flood. He uses the nations, which can be likened to a flood and a waters rising. He uses them as a flood to come against us. That doesn't scare us because he is not a flood. He is like, and he is not a lion. God is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the original and the real power. And this little angel, fallen angel, cherub, is no match for God. He has no original thinking because he's always trying to be like God. He wants to be like him. He wants to be worshipped like him. He wants his throne above like him. He wants to be God. And that is his driving force for this final week. And as long as we're here, we are the biggest irritation. Us who are awake, us who know who we are in Christ Jesus, us who stand on the power and walk by faith and not by sight. And know that to live is Christ and to die is gain. We are the irritation that will be on his back until we are done. And he is underneath our feet. Nothing can touch us because we are already bought by the blood of Jesus Christ. You just keep knowing that. You keep following the water walker. You keep walking in strength regardless of adversity, regardless of the enemy, regardless of what he throws. We will persist and damage his kingdom as much as possible for as long as we can until we leave. Stand strong. Pray for each other. Encourage one another and keep shining your light. We are very nearly done. Shalom.